So bring that out, Deuteronomy 4 and 5. This Deuteronomy 4 and 5 in the reads, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the, the Most High, my power, commanded me. Commanded me. Right, this is Moses talking to the Israelites. He had taught Israel the statutes and commandments that Yahweh gave him to give to Israel. One more time. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the even as the Most High, my power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. That's right. We're supposed to be keeping these laws when we went into the land, man. The promised land, the land of Canaan. Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Right, the law was given to us, man, to make us holy, to separate us from the other nation. Y'all talk about racism and about being racist and this and that, but the Most High set it up that way. He, he set us to be the chosen. We are the choice people of the earth, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We are the best on the planet Earth, man. But without the Lord by, you know, on our side, man, you know, we ain't shit. Look at Jake now. Jake is a running joke in the world. Without this law, statutes, and commandment that the Heavenly Father gave us, man. We ain't shit in this, in this world. Jake turned their, turn their backs on their power. Jake don't want to come to, our power is this law, man. The knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So jump over to Deuteronomy 28, brother. Just go to the 15th verse. Yeah, America's gonna be destroyed, man, real soon. You see this place circling the drain already? Come on. America is done for, man. And the Lord is coming back to redeem his elect. So you people, man, y'all go ahead and enjoy your last days, man. So what they say do the Roman 28? Do the Roman 28 and 15 in the reads, but it shall come to pass. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. Hey, hey, let's start at the first verse. Then we'll jump to 15. It's Deuteronomy 28, and it reads, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I have commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of right. the earth. Right, the Lord is saying we will hearken, man, if we will hear his words and do them. Basically, we'll be set on high. So, right, we are, we are racist. Actually, we're, nation, we're nationalists. That's right. We're of the nation, man. We, we are for the nation of Israel, man. And everybody walking this earth, man, is, is, is racist to a certain degree or another. So the white man is for, I mean, look at the elite. They strictly for their, their bloodline. Con, basically con. And then the uh, crackers walking around here, man, they prefer to be with crackers. You take a cracker and put him in a room full of niggas, man, tell me he ain't gonna feel out of his element. Right. He'll rather be amongst his kind. Right. You know? Even when it come to Jake, man, we all, you know, all the different tribes, we all one, one, one uh, nation. But, you know, you just, hey, it's a car sometimes, man, you just can't, you know, you get along with this a car, but sometimes you just can't be around this a car, man, or, or some of the other Latin tribes, man, because they got custom and shit, you know, their own things that they do, that, you know, and them, they get drunk, man. Them motherfuckers get crazy, man. They start, they pull out knives, start fucking yeah. knife fighting and shit, man. <laughs> Jake don't, you know, we don't get down like that. We get, we get nice, man. We chill. But just showing the point that, man, all nations are racist to a certain degree or another. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you love your people. You are for your people. But here it is. The Lord is showing you. 
bring that 28 chapter out again from the top. The Lord is showing you division right here. This illustrates division. Go ahead. It's Deuteronomy 28. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power. See, and it said hearken diligently, man. I mean, you gotta, you gotta constantly be, you gotta be about it, man. You can't just hearken sometime, or when it's convenient for you. You gotta hearken diligently, even right now, man. Even right now, we doing a rehearsal. We are rehearsing the righteous, righteous acts, but the Lord requires us to come out on the highways and byways and do this work, man. And in doing this work, we got to be diligent in our studies. Uh, as uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15 states, we got we to gotta study to show ourselves approved. We got to be diligent in our studies, diligent in, 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 in our business, man, and being faithful stewards of the, of the gift of grace that the Most High gave us. So go ahead, brother. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. You hear that? To observe and to do all his commandments that he gave unto Israel to keep. Go ahead. That the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations <laughs> of the earth. Above all nations of the earth, man. That's a separation. That's the vision. We'll be above the nations if we keep his law, statutes, and commandments, which we didn't. So the flip side of that would be what? That we'd be beneath our nations, which is where you find Jake right now, in the slums, in the filth, in the goddamn ghettos, man. Pissfield hallways, man. Goddamn, uh, the the streets Jake live in are battle zones, man. Uh -huh. Drug infested, man. Fucking debauchery. This is how, this is how majority of, of Jake live. Man, no matter what tribe you're from, the Latin tribes got it worse down in, in Central and, and South America, uh, America, man. They live in literal war zones out there, man. That's why Obama offering am amnesty to these uh, Latin tribes, man, they, they flocking over here in droves to come over here, man, because they trying to get out, man. Look how Issachar was living, man, with the fucking cartels and shit. Death, man, just like King David said, man, they was literally in the valley of the shadow of death. You be at your table eating, and a, a, a bullet come through there and take you out, man. Just right south of the border here, man. Four hours away. They living like, you know, fucking Vietnam or some shit out there, man. So go ahead, bro. You gonna go to the 15th verse now? No, read it. Read on. Okay. Second verse. And all these blessings shall come on thee, and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power. Right. And so this is why you mort mains flock to these harlot houses, man, by troops, so that these 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 fucking wolves in sheep clothing can tell you the law was done away with. That's a plot of Esau, man. That's a plot of the so-called white man. Y'all better read Psalm 83, man. The devil ain't, he ain't stopped. They still plotting how to destroy Jake. And the best way to, to, to destroy Jake or to keep their strong stranglehold over us is to keep us from the law. So they got these niggas set up on the 501c3 to tell you that the law was done away with. Right. So what? That this, this fucking devil can keep his, his foot on your neck. Because if all you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans would turn to the east and cry, Abba, right now, here the Most High come get us. Right now. You think the white man want that? No, so he got T.D. Jakes, he got Nate Daniel Seven, he got Creep Flow Dollar, all these bootleg pastors set up to teach you niggas that 
we not under the law. Well, Nate teaches that you got that you can keep the law, but he keeps the name from you. 